so uh, suppose we have a data x and y data we got it from experiment and we want to fit a model which is this this form y equals a plus b divided by x plus c so with any we cannot make it a standard form so this is we cannot linearize it so it is a nonlinear equation so we have to use nonlinear modeling for this okay so i'm going to just show you the step how we can do that so so we can write y model okay and then these are our unknowns a b and c we can we, we don't have idea what's the value uh, it will be so we can give a guess value to start with and then we can calculate the y model based on this guess values so select this we can use f4 to fix it plus a plus b divided by x plus c and here we have x as variable these are the constants enter it gives you the value of y model based on this a b and c and then we can drag this one so these are your y models okay uh, based on the guess values so yes they are different okay before we move we can plot this this data scattered okay first of all let us take the experimental data y and x okay and also we can plot together this y model now and so this is model it's not uh, data so it is continuous nine this is equation so better we connect and uh, we plot like continuous line so now we, you can see the model and experimental they are too far based on the initial guess values so now we will use least squared technique to minimize the error between experimental and theoretical or y model so what we do we find the error and in fact we will find the error square you can say error square like this so if you recall a numerical method you learn how to fit a linear line or regression line that is based on finding the error between y model and y data or y experimental if you want to say so this is the error and then we want error square because sometimes error will be negative sometimes it will be positive so just to get rid of that error square we can get for all the data and again if you recall the least square technique is about finding the sum of all the errors okay then minimizing this sum sum of the error we can say this is sum for time a so this is the sum of the error square how to minimize that we will minimize this with the help of tool in excel that is solver you must have used it before so if you click data you will get the solver and here it is you can maximize something you can minimize you can put a value so here our aim is to uh, minimize so minimize min then what you want to minimize you want to minimize the sum of the square 
okay go back by changing by changing what by changing a b and c values so each time it will iterate try to change the value of a b and c and unless the error square sum of error square is minimum here just take it out because we don't know uh, our some of the coefficient might be negative then that's it you are ready you see here the experimental and model therefore just click solve if we do iterations and make the model as close or as close as possible to the experimental just click solve click ok and now you can see the model and experimental they are very close to each other and there is some variations so now you can say that okay why model our model is fitting uh, to the experimental data and that you can refer to this figure and uh, more how to quantify the fitting how we can say uh, uh, how good is this fit so for that you, you can use some statistical analysis uh, one of the that is deviation the percentage deviation you can calculate always okay percentage deviation is what y model minus y experimental divided by y experimental times 100 divided by 0 was for the okay so the deviation from uh, the experimental so that is y model minus y experimental and you are comparing with experimental so you will divide with experimental value with the y this one and then times 100 gives you the percentage error so first one is very uh, very close so this point negative 0.04 uh, percent deviation okay so if you drag for all you can say okay you have maximum deviation of five percent so this is one of the way to say that okay my deviation was maximum was with this model five percent and one of the things is to get the average error okay uh, for that average some are negative some are positive so we can take the absolute abs okay it gives you only positive values so this is the deviations all then you can find the average of all deviations so average is there and the average deviation is two percent so this is basically what we say aad that we have explained to you so, so then in your discussion you can say AAD was found to be 2% and then you can say that okay it's good or it's very good or whatever so this is the way uh, to analyze uh, to fit a nonlinear model and also we have shown you how to get the deviations and how to quantify the uh, model fitting to the experimental data